Merry Vlogmas! <laughs> Day 13 for you and 12 for us. Dad's just come back from the shop, which is why the heavy breathing. So, yeah. yes. Well, I'm, I'll finish heavy breathing now. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yes. I am hot. Oh, the word that we were thinking was mint yesterday. I looked it up. It's cinnamon. Oh. What leaves? No. Cinnamon leaves. No, um, I don't know. But, but it just said. Okay. Zimped. Yeah. Zimped is cinnamon. Yeah. I looked it up. And the white covered ones that were like looked like snow. They were licorice flavored white chocolate. Oh. And. Schneer. Yeah. And yeah. One, the the caramel covered ones, the Mendel Kernum is caramel covered al oh, almonds as one word. Yeah. We've been getting lots of explanations from you lovely peeps. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, 12 I can see 12. Okay. This doesn't bode well for the rest of the couple of weeks that we've got though when you can't see the Would it be of rude of me or imprudent of me to, oh. Oh. while I'm doing this, to say I had a real laugh today? Can I wake? I slightly yeah. worry when he goes off topic. Okay. Um, when I, I heard about a backward looking hoodie. Oh, you've watched right. Rachel. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. I love how it's going to be his mask. And... Yes. Um, <laughs> when things get really bad. Is that crispy honeycomb or something like that? That was brilliant. Absolutely. Oh, I don't know. This is new. Not nut based. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> oh no, it looks like crisp or... Oh, hang on. We're... Oh, there we go. That's better. They look oh. like, like me for a uh, It looks like Rice Krispies or... I miss being able to bite through things. Hmm. It's little crispy nuggets, so probably Rice Krispies. Oh, okay. Nice. Rice Krispie treats. Well, whatever Choco means. Chocolate, probably. Maybe. Krispies. I don't know, one of my lovely German anyway. speakers will let us know in the comments down below. Before you go... It's very, very nice. Before you go, there was a parcel that arrived for you and Mum this morning. Really? Yes. Mm. So... Oh. I thought going to save it for the tree. No! Because I secretly opened it. So Mum, because we, we didn't know who it was from. No. But it doesn't mm. say until you get right inside who it's from. And then when Mum realised... I like this package. It's lovely, isn't it? Keeping that. I was going to say, you might end up with it under the tree again. <laughs> no, someone else will receive this package. Mm, yes. Yep. Oh. That's what she means. Ooh. Boutique biscuits. Hang on. No, there's nothing in there. Trust us, we know. Oh. We know. We know. Open it. Okay. It's exciting. It's exciting. You can open it's it twice as well. Front. Front. Oh, front. Yes. You think? Yes, yeah, positive. Oh, right. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Martin. Isn't that lovely? Thank you mm. very much. So this is as far as Mum got. Then she stopped. Mm. Yeah, stopped. Yes, didn't go any further. Bonbon. I love bonbons. But it's not bonbons. It's biscuits. Okay. Mm. Do you want me to open the biscuit? Bit? Yes. Yeah. Amazing packaging. Very beautifully mm. wrapped. Oh. I think it's mosaic biscuit. Oh look, which has been iced. Oh, oh. fantastic! Have you seen that? No, no. I haven't. <laughs> Hang on, no, it's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. What a lovely gift. So someone's sprayed a, a stencil or Isn't something that on that. Isn't that lovely? You really yeah. don't want to open it. No. Because they would no. <laughs> I, I eat it. I, yeah, I'm going to put it away for Christmas. Hmm. I think so. I think so. That's amazing. We'll, we'll taste it on I've Christmas Day. I've never seen Day. anything like that before. It's beautiful, really. isn't it? Isn't it yeah. fabulous? So maybe put it somewhere cool. Yeah, I'll put it in yeah. the larder. Well, not, not no. with our friends. Um, maybe up in our bedroom, because that's the coolest. Yeah. Or my office, that's the coolest. No. <laughs> <laughs> open, yeah. it up, oh. open it up on Christmas Day and there'll be one missing. <laughs> that is just That was wonderful, thank beautiful. you very much. Thank you. What a treat. Caramel infused dark chocolate biscuit bonbons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. I was going to say, I don't think it could get any more perfect. Well no. done. Oh, we're, we're the wrong side. Oh, okay. Number 12. 12. 12. There's 13. There's 12. Look at that. I didn't do that on purpose. Hang on, let me. Oh, I think this is, I think this is going to reveal what the next project is. I think. I think. Exciting. It is, yes. Oh, wow. So it's the Chatelaine ah. kit. 
Secure why... your pens, pencils and chalks. And pencils and pencils. a notebook. It's a great place to keep track of your stitching ideas and inspiration. Well, that would be great for my knitting bag, wouldn't it? Because yes. Yes, felted wool. That was what that other thing was, that oh. white stuff. So either glasses case or pencil case, <laughs> pin cushion, notebook cover, and then this goes around your neck, I believe, and that's right. your scissors, and then needle book, and so. And you do them all? Yeah, from that, that, from from that, that piece of fabric. Wow. So, but you can see why the, the you know, the, the, the fabric was printed in the way it was. It was yeah. designed for this. Yeah. Well, well, well. Okay. Isn't that fun? Kit number two. Kit number two. Oh, do you want to swap? Because it's the orange one. I don't one. mind if you, if you do. Let's see if I've got anything different today. It's up to you. If I can find 12. Does 12 even exist? But it's under my thumb. Probably should have gone for the alcoholic one. Oh, it's a little chocolate heart. Yeah, I don't mind swapping. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Because they're very yummy. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. Right, okay, so today I am going to cut out my Deer and Doe Lupin jacket. I have my pattern over there that needs to get ironed. I have made Let's see, I've made three of these already. I have only got one of them remaining in my stash. I The first one I made was with a tan suede and I made it slightly too small for myself and I didn't lengthen the sleeves and I didn't make a muslin. It was faux suede, so it wasn't an expensive one and I found a home for it. But I made a few alterations to the pattern and then I made the denim one that went with my very first capsule collection back in July 20. 17 I think. It was a denim jacket and it was really nice but it was the the denim was too thin it was kind of shirt weight rather or dress weight rather than jacket weight. That one got donated. Then I made one out of the pink parrot fabric which I still have and I absolutely love although I don't wear it very often because as you guys know the majority of my clothes are also loud and loud jackets are then difficult to wear with it although there is this picture of me on my birthday a couple of years ago wearing it with my map print dress and just not caring i decided that today i'm going to make a deer and doe lupin jacket out of the sweet potato brushed cotton twill that i got from fabric.com with the remaining lining fabric the shanghai bouquet poly satin from lady mcelroy and i think that's going to look really really cute and i think it's going to be a nice piece to add in to the collection. It was something that I mentioned during the collection video. I think it's going to work really well with all of the high-waisted trousers that I want to make. I think it's going to look quite nice with those, especially with the bright printed ones and the skirts that I've made for this collection as well. I think it's going to work really well with those things. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck, but a time lapse for you, jacket making for me. I've got a mistletoe in my hand and the boys are lining up for my kisses of for one special guy he's a dream though of a man my own sweet buttercup I'm just so revved up by his praise So I have got my looping jacket all cut out. I also have enough left of the satin 
to line another coat, I think, which is awesome. My battery's dying, two secs. Okay, we'll try that again. So yes, I have cut out the looping jacket and that's ready to go. I have enough of the lining left for another coat, which is awesome because I do have some cotton sateen from Lady McElroy that I want to try and make the Simone Russia coat out of and I'm hoping that I will have enough lining to do that. At the very least I'll be able to line the bodice if not the sleeves and the sleeves can always be a less exciting lining can't they? So that's really cool and I like the fact that all the different jackets are going to have the same lining running through the collection. I think that's going to look really nice. Obviously I still have my Starship Enterprise on the machine and it's set up for embroidery so I need to change all that which means I need to put this back in this little cubby hole which is right over there. I need to try and make some room yeah make some room to do that put that away then I can get on with sewing the looping jacket which I'm hoping that if I do some work on it today and then do some work on it during the live hangout tomorrow I should be able to get it finished this weekend then we will hopefully be hearing some house news on Monday which will then inform our decision as to what we're going to make next because mum would really like to start on the Vogue 9040 which I would like to do as well but I'm really really reluctant to do that if we're going to be moving next weekend because I don't want to start it all and then have bits and pieces all over the place. I mean obviously we can put it in a project bag and put it all together and just put it aside until we move but I would really like to try and avoid ending up with things half done if you know what I mean. So we'll see. If we get the good news on Monday, hopefully that means we'll be moving next weekend, which would be awesome. And if we don't hear on Monday, I think we're gonna postpone the move till the new year or just before the new year, because moving over Christmas sounds really miserable and not something that any of us are overly looking forward to. So yeah, that is the plan. So I'm gonna put this away and then get on with some sewing. overly amazing in that particular configuration but I finished the body of the jacket and I finished the lining completely. I do want to put the shoulder epaulettes on so I can't put the sleeves on yet and I don't want to concentrate on doing the shoulder epaulettes so I'm going to wait to do those tomorrow during the hangout. I will however be taking this up to hand stitch down the binding because mum has finished quilting it today which is very exciting so there's a few finishing touches as I mentioned but the majority of this is done. I am obviously back up at mine. I have been watching How to Get Away with Murder. I am I think 11 episodes into season one. I'm very much enjoying it. I don't know how why it's taken me so long to kind of discover this one but it's very good. So I have been sitting and hand stitching down 
the binding on the quilt. I have got probably about a third of it done. I've got one sh short edge done and about half of one long end and then I'm just about to start going up the other at the other long side here. So hopefully I should be able to get this finished this evening whilst watching the show and that would be great because then I can get the labels done to sew on and the whiskers on the lions and then it will be done. I'm, I'm genuinely over the moon with how this has come out. I can't believe how much effort and work mum's put into this. It's beautiful so I really hope that they like it and that it gets used. If for nothing else then something to sit on. I'm thinking about, we were thinking about making some floor cushions to go with this for the girls and then we were thinking about a closet case poof i think the floor cushions might be a better idea because they are slightly smaller and, and less of an intrusive piece but i don't know we'll see we'll see i've got i have got quite a lot of the back fabric left because I, I i ordered some more of this because i only had a meter to start with which wasn't enough to back the quilt so i ordered another two meters which came and has now is on the back of the quilt but i have some decent sized offcuts from that piece and then i also have my original one meter piece yeah i think some i think some cushions with leopard uh, not leopard zebra piping on them would look really cool and be nice to sit on and that's kind of my idea so yeah i'm gonna get this finished this evening very pleased with how the deer and doe lupin is coming out if i'd have started cutting that out earlier today I could definitely have got that finished today i did also break to make lunch for dad and i i made a chorizo crusted cheesy pasta bake and i made enough for four people mum doesn't like eating pasta more than once a week which is something that i will need to take into consideration for future hello fresh boxes but we did have quite a lot of pasta dishes arrive this last couple this uh, this last week dad and i had that for lunch and they're having something different for dinner so i didn't join them for dinner this evening which was you know it was it's becoming quite a nice ritual though sort of i make them come and sit in the in the kitchen with me whilst i cook because i don't like being in the kitchen by myself when i'm cooking i i, I like i like an audience <laughs> and i like to be kept company it's all right where i live and where wilson lives because we have studio apartments so you can't get away from each other but yeah I, I make them come and sit with me when i make dinner it's probably a bit mean of me but it's been fun and it's kind of becoming a little bit of a ritual which i'm very much enjoying tonight i just had second helping of that which was very yummy dad has some left for lunch tomorrow oh no we're having they're having roast dinner tomorrow and they've got a friend coming over so i'm not sure what time but i am doing a live stream from midday and i'll be going until i get the deer and doe looping coat finished I should definitely be able to get that finished tomorrow definitely the top stitching is going to be the bit that takes the longest and that shouldn't take me too long so yeah another little coat which is a good little project not sure as i say which one to start on next but i suppose it'll it'll depend on what news that we get on monday so i'm going to carry on with this so i hope you have enjoyed my day and i will see you all tomorrow bye